So if you take oil molecules, some kind of lipid or some kind of substance that, that is simply a hydrocarbon, uh, it is nonpolar. It doesn't have what is known as charges or partial charges. Water really has no great desire to interact with this substance. And so when water is surrounding a substance that is oily like this, water tends to not be able to bond with it effectively and instead tries to bond with itself. And in a sense, water forms a layer around these substances that's absolutely minimizing water's interaction with the substance. And one way to reduce the interaction of water with the substance even further is by having the substance clump together. Because when it clumps together, it forms a, a, a volume that has a surface to volume ratio that is smaller than when it has not clumped together. And that means that the surface is where the water is interacting with the oil, with the substance, with the hydrophobic substance. And that means that by clumping together, they're further reducing contact with water. They're doing their best to get as far away from water as possible. So when you put oil, if you put multiple droplets of oil in, uh, uh, into water, first of all, they'll float. That's simply because the oil is lighter than the water. It doesn't, it's not as dense as the water. Um, but, but the mere fact that when you put the droplets in, they're droplets, means that they're, try they're not spreading out. They're, they're trying to minimize their surface area. And the droplets themselves, if they are given the opportunity, will coalesce into larger droplets. And when they do that, the total surface area per volume of this oil will be reduced further. And reducing that surface area reduces the amount of contact with water. Water wants to reduce the amount of contact with the oil as much as possible. And as a consequence, in a water solution, hydrophobic substances tend to clump. When we are washing our laundry or washing our clothing, we have to combat this because water alone will not take off the oil on our clothing um, or on our dishes. And so what we do is we put in a detergent. And what the detergent does is it breaks up these clumps. It allows the clumps, in fact, because the detergent has an oily side and another side that interacts well with water, it allows the oil to, in fact, go into suspension in a water solution. So this is a basic property of an oily substance is they want to stay as far away from water as possible and they will tend to clump when you put them into water solutions. And this is actually very important.